Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again. With WoW Classic coming up at the end of the month, I personally have been really excited for it. I'm looking forward to reliving the glory days that was Vanilla WoW. So I wanted to put together a list for you guys of some of my favorite MMO peripherals, if you will. Just stuff that I think is more geared towards MMO gaming or will give you a little bit of an advantage or make it a little bit easier to play that style of game. Now, all of the peripherals that you're going to see in this video, I have done full length reviews of already. So I'll have links down in the description for you if you want to check these out in a little bit more detail. I'll also have some Amazon affiliate links down there for those too. So if you want to pick one of these up and support my channel, you can do that down there as well. Now, lastly, I am going to be giving one of you guys a 60 day WoW time card. So if you want to jump into WoW Classic when it launches or maybe just up your account a little bit, I'll have a chance to win that. I'll have all the details on that giveaway at the end of the video. But for now, let's go ahead and check out some peripherals. Starting off, we have the Razor Naga Trinity Mouse. The Trinity is an evolution of Razor's popular Naga Mouse, which originally had 12 side buttons, but they also released a 7 button variant too. The Trinity, as the name implies, is essentially 3 mice in one. It has different magnetic side panels that easily pop into place to change the amount of buttons that you have on the side of the mouse. My main concern when reviewing this mouse originally was that the swappable side panels might feel flimsy or pop off in game, but that just isn't the case. The locking mechanism makes it so that normal gameplay makes it almost impossible to have them come off accidentally, while removing them deliberately happens with ease. I like this because while a mouse with 19 programmable buttons might be great for MMOs, it just really isn't all that great for a bunch of different other genres of games. And with the Trinity, you get a lot of versatility and bang for your buck. The mouse feels solid and well built, although it is pretty heavy at 120 grams, which is twice the weight of Razer's new mouse, the Razer Viper. So consider that if you do plan to use this mouse for first person shooters too. The Naga Trinity has Razer's classic 5G optical sensor for up to 16,000 DPI and can handle up to 50 Gs of acceleration. It is a bit pricey at 100 bucks, but it can also take the place of two or three different mice in your arsenal. I think this mouse is an excellent piece of hardware to have for any MMO gamer. Corsair's K95 Platinum might be getting a bit dated by tech standards, but it is still a fantastic flagship gaming keyboard. The K95 Platinum looks great with its brushed aluminum backplate, and it's a solid performer thanks to its Cherry MX switches, which are available in both brown and speed switches, although for MMOs, I would personally recommend browns as it helps to feel the actuation when using abilities, and you do tend to do more typing in those style of games too. The only negative worth mentioning is that the spacebar can be a little bit rattly on this one. Corsair gives you a ton of extras with the K95, like a detachable wrist rest that has a two-sided rubber magnetic insert, a set of dedicated media keys with a metal volume scroll wheel, dedicated buttons for controlling the onboard profiles, changing the brightness and toggling a game mode, a USB pass-through, and most importantly in my opinion for playing MMOs, is a set of six dedicated macro keys on the left side of the board. And I also like that they throw in two sets of textured rubberized keycaps too. The K95 has tons of customizable RGB with a light bar up at the top of the keyboard and full perky RGB which is controlled with Corsair's IQ software. In that software you can create custom macros for your abilities, rebind your keys for more efficient spell usage, and create custom lighting profiles to color code your hotbars directly onto your keyboard. And at 160 bucks, the K95 Platinum is a solid choice in a gaming keyboard in general, but the inclusion of the macro keys in a time when they're starting to go away on mainstream keyboards and the robust software make this a great keyboard for MMO gaming too. The Razer Tartarus V2 is a gamepad designed to supplement your keyboard for more access to hot keys and macros than a traditional keyboard. The trade-off of course being that you will still need a full-size keyboard on your desk to chat with. I do find that this solution works best with something like a 60% or a 10 keyless keyboard so that your arms don't have to be so far apart. The Tartarus has extremely comfortable ergonomics and it has an included leatherette wrapped wrist pad. The Tartarus V2 has 32 programmable buttons with 20 mecha membrane keys and an 8 directional thumb joystick. It has a scroll wheel and a slew of other dedicated buttons making it super versatile for those who really like to customize their skills in an efficient manner. With Razer Synapse you can control the RGB lighting and create macros with an unlimited amount of length. You can also use Razer's Hypershift to make an entire second set of macros on the keyboard too. At 80 bucks, I think it's a good pickup for players who are looking for an edge in things like PvP or arenas, or simply want an efficient, comfortable layout for hours of play. Just keep in mind that it will probably take you some time to get used to it. 
The Corsair Void is a wireless gaming headset with Dolby 7.1 surround sound. It has a lightweight design that doesn't put too much pressure on your head, and I like that it uses cloth wrapped ear cups to cut down on that nasty sweat buildup feeling that can happen on leatherette wrapped ones. It's great for long hours of use, and so much so that I've used mine for phone calls at work almost every day for a year without any issues. It uses 50mm drivers for a good, full, crisp sound, and the microphone here is particularly good. I included this headset on this list for three reasons. The first is that it's wireless, which I think makes for a more comfortable experience overall just not being tethered to your PC. The second is that the mic quality is particularly good for the price, which is important when you're in Discord a lot with your guildmates. And third, I think it's super affordable. On Amazon right now, it's only 70 bucks, which is actually half the price of the Razer Nari, which I was gonna put on this list until I just saw how huge that price gap was. Now last on my list, I wanted to include a good chair because as you all well know, MMO gaming tends to require some serious time investment. Picking up a good comfortable chair will make a world of difference and your back, butt, and shoulders will thank you during long night raids. I've had over 20 chairs to review and compare on the channel now, and I've been able to confidently recommend Secret Lab Omega series for over two years in a row in terms of just best raw value. I like that they have a bunch of different colors and material options to help tie into any setup, and they're super comfortable offering padding in all the right places. The build quality is superb, and even the packaging is miles ahead of their competitors. One of the best parts of Secret Lab chairs are their super soft comfy memory foam pillows which blow every other chair company's pillows out of the water. They're actually usable, which I would say 90% of other gaming chairs pillows just, you just throw them out. They're not worth using at all. It is pricey at 350 bucks, but it's a worthwhile investment if you spend a lot of time at your computer. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Like I said, I am gonna be giving a WoW time card away. As always, all you gotta do to be eligible to win that is just be subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comments down below what class you're gonna play in WoW Classic. And also, like I mentioned, I do have a bunch of links down in the description if you wanna learn more about any of these keyboards. I'll have all that down there for you as well. Well, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please give it a like to show your support. And if you're new here on the channel and you wanna be eligible for that giveaway, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll be announcing the winner on my Twitter at BrainBeanGaming and also letting you know down in the comments, I'll reply to whoever won there so we can do that digital time code there for you uh, pretty easily. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.